Hey, this is Sam from Sure. In this video tutorial, I'll talk about monitor groups, or the ability to group certain channels together for convenient and easy monitoring. The Monitor View in Wireless Workbench 6 is a very customizable tool that allows you to display and arrange graphical widgets that represent your channels and devices. Now, it might be the case that when you are in the middle of a production, there are certain channels you always want to monitor together. A great example of this would be like backup singers. Every time I want to look at the RF for one backup singer, it's probably going to be helpful to look at the RF and all the other properties for all backup singers. So instead of users always manually picking and choosing all of the channels that correspond to their backup singers, which let's say I've coded in yellow here, you can see channel all these channel names. Um, instead of individually picking and choosing each and every one of those channels every time, which you could do, um, what instead what we'll do is create a group of those channels so that we can conveniently show and hide them uh, later with just a single click. So what I expanded up above here is this monitor groups section. And you'll notice it's empty. I don't have any groups thus far. So basically what I'll do is I'll create a group and I will put any channels or devices into that group that I want to affiliate uh, with that particular group I've created. And I can do it in a couple ways. The first way I'll do it is I'll just add a group and I will name it backup singers and I can call it anything I want and now you'll notice nothing's in there it's totally empty but what I can do is down below I can pick and choose by multi selecting these channels all of these yellow things and those are my backup singers and I'll drag it and drop it right on top of backup singers and now you'll notice all those channels are displayed here so I can expand it to confirm which channels are in there or collapse it if I don't want to see it anymore. But here's the beauty. When I select this particular group, it both shows me the channels that are a part of that group if I want to change them or add them. And with a single checkbox, I can show the channel strips for all of those channels within that group right on the monitor stage. It's a really nice, convenient way to show and hide the channels that you care about quickly. Um, so let's make some other groups because there's some other convenient ways to do that. Let's say all these pink channels here also belong to another group. I can, instead of adding a group and adding those channels to that group, I can simply select them and drag and drop them somewhere down below in this groups area and a brand new group is created with all those pink channels. So let's say these are my instrumentalists. Instru instr. And now this second group shows me all my instrumentalists really quickly and conveniently. So these monitor groups are just a, a convenience tool that allow you to collect channels in certain logical groupings so that later if you're creating different monitor views and you want to show or add or move around those channels quickly, you've got the tools to do so. So I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you've got any questions or comments, definitely let us know in the comments down below. Thanks.